Hey guys, Fox Rock with another live game commentary for you guys. This game I am playing as Aatrox Jungle. Now, my runes and masteries will be on, will be on screen and they're in the description as always. Um, but I believe I'm running AD Reds, Army Yellows, MR Blues, or MR per level Blues, one of those two. doesn't really matter which one you take. And either Lifestyle Quints or AD Quints or a mixture. Now, I think this game, I actually don't have Lifestyle Quints. But I probably should have them. I think I think I would prefer to have them, but I kind of m messed up in uh, Champ Select and just went with my AD page. But it's not that big a deal. Now, um, for my uh, Masteries as well, I've just gone 2190. You can go 92100 if you want, or like 9029. You can, you can run a lot of things. I personally just like to have the armor pin though, because uh, Aatrox does a lot of physical damage. Now... Aatrox is one of those people, if you guys followed my Facebook, uh, you would know that I um, I did a Facebook page as soon as Aatrox was released saying how I didn't really think he was that good of a jungler because he was too suicidal basically, that like he took too much damage and didn't really give too much to the team from the jungle. He was much, much better as a top laner or just a mid laner or whatever. It was much better as a laner where he could just bully people, make real use of his endless sustain and just be absolutely insane and on jungle way talks you don't really get that and i haven't changed my mind about that that is still very true i think i think as a laner aatrox is probably op but in the jungle not so much but he's played a lot in competitive play and so i figured i may as well do a a uh, video on him because he's popular um now the reason he, he's much better in competitive play than he's in solo queue and i'll uh, i'll get to that in a sec but this if this lebron's just gone in I should be able to, yeah, blow her flash pretty easy. Um, the reason why Aatrox is much better in competitive play is because his E is very, very good for wave clearing. And that's what the jungler has to do quite a lot. They'll go and help a lane, which is getting pushed, and they'll just need to wave clear a lot. But you don't do that in solo queue. You just gank people. Now, see, this should, this should be a pretty easy gank. Yeah, this Lucian, at least Lucian, should die if not both of them. Lucian's already dead, I think, so I'm going to... Oops, I think I missed that. Uh, the second person who flashes my Q. So just a bit of presence there, which is nice. Now, Aatrox is one of the, the pluses and minuses to playing Aatrox. We should really push this. Okay, MS. Okay, we can freeze this then, whatever. I just bit of jungle attacks there. Now, a huge benefit of playing jungle Aatrox is that he has is very good at dueling. Um, he can carry quite hard, actually, in the right hands. Um, if you're fed and stuff, he can carry quite nicely. And his sustain is pretty good as far as it goes. It's not amazing because you take a lot of damage in the jungle as well, but it's pretty good. Um, it, it depends though. Like in fights, if you if you toggle your W, you can make it so that you do extra damage rather than getting your heal. But in, if you're just jungling, then you could you can it gives you that option. Like you can have extra sustain or you can do extra damage. It's up to you. I personally like to max my W and Aatrox because it gives your basic attacks like huge power. But this is what I'm doing right here is uh, like this. Jarvan thinks we don't see him, <laughs> but what we're doing here is just that like, this LeBlanc has to go back. Like she can't stay, so why not just shove the like, wave into the tower and push it? I mean, may as well. There's no real loss for us doing that. And so just by doing that, like this LeBlanc has now lost out a huge amount. She's going to be quite far behind this talent. And considering she's LeBlanc anyway, that's a pretty big deal for her. Like if she if she's behind against an assassin lane, if the talent gets ahead of her, he's probably going to dominate her. Now I really want to get this top lane because there's no there's no flash and no barrier. This guy has a Doran's blade. I don't think he's been back yet either, which means if he's just got a Doran's and he doesn't have a ward, so it's definitely not warded top. Java may be coming top as well. So if I can catch him as he's trying to uh, trying to counter gank top, we'll probably kill him. If not, I can probably just die of this cannon. I think I'm just going to go and die of cannon. I could run across, but I'm lazy. Now I've got 10 seconds on my... I'm going to go in for it. No, what's his face? Aatrox is really good at tower diving. I'm, I'm going to die here. I don't care though. Because this is, this is what happens. Oh shit. This is what happens when you're tower diving on Aatrox. You just get... Okay, she's dead. Holy shit. But I'm special. No, he got me. But I thought Riven wanted to turn it on a fire. That was, I misread that. Sorry. 
It's my fault. Thought you you had something up your sleeve. When she turned around and stunned him, I thought she was going for him. So I was like, okay, yeah, let's do this. And um, she she was actually just stunning him to run away, which actually makes you know perfect sense. That's exactly what she should be doing. But I com I completely misread that play, and uh, so that's my fault. I shouldn't have done that. That was just stupid by me, and I probably could have just run away afterwards, but I tried to get... I thought I could actually uh, kill him. I know that sounds really stupid, but Aatrox is actually very, very good at 1v1ing people, and he is deceptively strong at fighting people on low health. The reason for that is because when you're under half health, your W heals you for double what it usually heals you. So whenever I'm on half health, every third strike, I heal for 86 damage, which is a lot of healing. Like, it's it's more than 10% of my health, or it would have been more than 10% of my health. That was really unlucky by Talon to die here, but this is why I'm going to go mid now as well. If I can jump over the wall and get her... Okay, she's just going to recall. But now she's going to recall, I'm going to push this push this wave. Why? Because LeBlanc isn't going to be here to stop me. So I'm going to push this out. I know it's kind of denying Talon a little bit, but this is kind of what you have to... I know this sounds really harsh, but it's kind of what you have to do when you're playing jungler. It's like a play style. If you're going to take this farm, then you need to make sure you're going to be carrying. And I personally have faith in my ability to carry, to, to use this farm. So I'm going to take it. And it does, it's not, you know, it's a good thing. You know, we, our team gets gold because I get it. And their team doesn't get gold because LeBlanc has denied it. But it, it's, it's, you know, still kind of greedy by, by me to take it away from Talon. But I'll give him the blue buff to uh, make up for it. Now this, yeah, this just should be a really nice counter gang bot if they keep going for it. Unfortunately, it doesn't really look like they got, I'm going in. I don't think he's seen me, but I don't want to go, for, yeah, I don't want to go for Javan. Oh my goodness, please. There we go. Now something which is really good on Aatrox, which is actually probably one of the better things that makes him a really good jungler, is that his um, I'm not quite sure, if, is this part of his passive? Yeah, okay, it's part of his passive. Basically, every, I don't know, five minutes or so, I think it's five minutes, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the cooldown is. It looks like it, it looks like that's a four and a half, maybe five minute cooldown. It doesn't really matter, but, um, but yeah, every, every five minutes or so, you, you revive, it's a revive cooldown, much like Zac has and Nivea has to a certain extent as well. Um, but the reason why it's so good and the reason why I could tower dive early top is you, it's like a Zonia's, like when you're dead, you are invulnerable, you are untargetable, like you can't be hit by anything, you can't take any damage, you're healing back health. So you can tower dive people and you can take that tower hit and you can just die flat out under tower, but then the tower aggro will just reset onto a creep. Onto a creep. So you'll survive the tower dive, which is why he's really, really good at doing that early on, which is what I did for, like that tower dive top was really sloppy because I didn't, ha I didn't have my Q up, I didn't jump on him, I just ran out at him and I was like, yeah, I'll take the damage. I'll take the aggro because I knew I would revive. Uh, see if we can get this cannon now. We should be able to. He'll probably just E away from us, but I think he'll die first, to be honest. Just predicting his... Predicting his movement there with my Q. That was a really good run by Talon to come help us with that. And this, like, if we can get... Like, looking at our team, we have 4 AD, which means... Preferably, in order to win this game, we'd like to snowball early because if we get into team fights and people have stacked armor, that's not really going to work in our favor. However, a uh, flip side to this, our team is pretty much perfect as far as it goes for having an AD team. Our team is really perfect because both Talon and Riven have Last Whispers built into their core builds, and MF can very easily get a uh, Black Cleaver, and Black Cleaver will be obviously very good for our team because it will you know, armor shred people. And the reason why uh, Black Cleaver is so good on MF is just because she can instantly apply all of the stacks by using her ultimate. Every time you do physical damage, you apply a stack of your, of, bullet, um, of Blade of the Rune King. Oh my goodness, not Blade of the Rune King, Black Cleaver. Holy crap, too many Bs, too many abilities with a B in them. Bullet time, yes, MS ult, that's what I'm trying to say. Every time that does damage, your Black Cleaver, that's also what I meant to say, does uh, applies a stack. Now I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna try and wait out for this Jarvan because I'm pretty sure he's gonna come down. I'm I'm putting faith in his ability. Yeah, there he is. Though I may have wasted my his silence. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Please, there he is. I knew he'd come down this way. Good job, Talon. Are you kidding me? Riven, please.
This LeBlanc might think she can kill me, but... Oh shit, can not see. But I've got my passive, so I don't mind sacrificing myself if it means we get the kill. But we don't. That's a real shame. I th oh no, yes, yes. Oh my goodness, it was the wrong one. And that Thresh is... Thresh had a lantern, which means someone else is here too. That was really good, actually. Holy crap, so that was kind of... That was... Uh, I think I got a bit too ahead of myself there, thinking that we could make a play there when really we couldn't. So that was my mistake again. I just got a bit too... A bit too greedy, I think. Okay. Now, a, a huge thing on Aatrox when you're playing him... Aatrox has, a, has huge potential to actually carry... Well, yeah, <laughs> full stop. Aatrox has huge potential to carry. So you want to be far... Whenever you're playing a jungler that can carry quite hard, you want to make sure you're constantly farming as much as you can. You don't want to fall behind on these junglers. Because if junglers can carry, that's like another way... That's like a... You know, another way of saying that they scale very well with items. And if someone scales very well with items, it makes a lot of sense that you want a lot of items. And so if you do want items, the best way to go ahead and do that, the most reliable way for you to go and get items is by farming. It's always the most reliable way. Okay. Nice ignite. That was interesting. So yeah, look, if you look at my farm, I'm like 63 CS, which is... It's not bad. It's not great. But comparing it to Jarvan, it's quite high. And I'm just, but I'm not exactly doing less than Jarvan either, so I've got quite a lot of impact, and I'm still farming, which is really good. Now for my item build on Aatrox, I like to do, I get a really weird item build actually. Um, basically what it is, is I like to get Blather and King, and I like to rush Blather and King, and I also like to get Spirit of the Ancient Golem as well. Usually when you're getting um, Ancient Golem, or like a jungle item, so you know, Elder Lizard, Ancient Golem, Wriggles, that will be your first item that you rush on a jungler. But personally, I like to have the Blade of Ruin King first. Now, this isn't a build that's set in stone. This is something which I still need to play around with. But it's just something which I like. Um, I like getting this Blade of Ruin King early because it means... I think early on, people don't really have a huge amount of damage. So they can't punish me for going Blade of Ruin King. Um, so, and I think just with the active as well, it just makes you really powerful early. Now, I'm uh, activating my W to do extra damage here. So, I should be able to shred these guys really hard now. Especially if they all group up for me like that. <laughs> I get a triple kill. I'm not quite sure why they all grouped up. I probably wasn't very wise. But we should do we should do dragon here. Uh, getting the tower is also a very good idea. So I think we sh we should split and do it together. Yeah, what this what this thresh is saying is very. I kind of have a lot of respect for him to actually say that rather than just be like, oh my god, report Java or whatever. Giving credit where credit's due. Like, that's. This is gonna sound really cheesy, but this Thresh like, is. I mean, I know he's playing well. Like, I can just tell by the way he's playing that he's playing quite well. He should be happy with how he's playing. And the fact that he's not frustrated about these counter ganks and that he's just been like, damn. Damn, son, these are good ganks. The fact that he's saying that means that next game, he's not gonna go in really bad and frustrated. And he's gonna keep playing as well as he's playing now in the games to come. And that really means he's gonna. He's going to have consistency, and consistency is what climbs you elo. And whenever you're in, you know, losing streaks, it basically, consistency prevents those losing streaks. So it's really important to have that kind of attitude. And it's very, very, very rare to see it um, in this game in general, so... Holy crap. So yeah, that was, that's, that's kind of, that's refreshing to see from, from Thresh there. But I was saying earlier about uh, what makes Aatrox really good because of his passive, his revive passive. And there's actually a certain second part to that which I want to talk about, which is basically the more stacks you have, so like the more your mana bar refills, um, well it's not, re you know, it's not mana, but you know, it, what looks like your mana bar, the higher that is, the more, what's it called, blood thirst? I don't even know what it's called, but the more that's, that fills up, the higher your attack speed is. And so that means you can proc your W faster, you can clear faster, it's just really nice in general. And that fills up, the way you fill that up is by doing damage to yourself, like this guy's a total masochist, definitely. But all your abilities, when you're activating your W, so your W does extra damage, whenever you use that, that does damage to you. And then whenever you uh, use your Q or your E, that also takes health, that damages you. So whenever you're using these abilities, you're gaining, uh, basically you're making yourself stronger. And it also means when your revive pops that you'll have more health when you come back up. But usually... 
usually this only like goes down when you've when you've gone to base. Like it takes a long time for it to to actually go down, and it fills up really really quickly. So you can pretty much have this up 24/7. And if you're if you're playing versus Natrox and you see his bar is full, be very careful because he is extremely strong. I don't know how much exactly how much extra attack speed I have exactly. It doesn't give you the actual number, but holy shit, there's four people here. I think we should go for this. I honestly think we could. We could. Okay, there's five people here. That was a good, a good call to not go for that. I still think we can fight though. If someone wants to face check me here, we'll kill them. Why is Cannon chasing Riven? I don't understand what is going on. I really don't understand what is going on. I'm just going to tank up a load of the burst, so I, I don't care if I die because I've got my passive, but they're not actually going to kill me anyway. I really need to hit a creep because my next hit is going to heal me. No, it's not. It went down. But like, you heal double when you're on half. Look, two hits and I'm on this health. It's insane. Come here, Kennen. Is he actually going balls? He's going balls deep for that. Silly goose. Oh my goodness, that reminds me. Don't call people silly gooses in, in uh, solo queue. Because they flame you. Well, no, sorry. That's... that's. They don't flame you. They they think you're flaming them. This may sound a bit... Peculiar, but... I, th I think... Um, maybe I get a bit too friendly with my insults. Just calling someone a silly goose. I thought it was just a bit of banter, but um, they didn't like it. So uh, be careful calling people silly, silly geese in Champion Select. We always got to be uh, thinking about people's feelings, you know. You don't want to come across as being mean when you're. I, I'm actually. I sincerely mean this when I say you don't want to come across as mean when you're not being mean, because you know that's. You may as well just be mean then. I really hope you can't hear those sirens in the background. Bloody sirens. Some guy just, some selfish geezer just had to go and have a heart attack while well, I'm trying to do my recordings. Now the ambulance is going off. This guy, honestly, he can't you just think about someone else. I'm trying to make a League of Legends video here. Please. Alright, so I've got perfectly, perfect goal for my Spirit of the Ancient Golem now. The reason I really like that Ancient Golem is it's just like cooldown reduction is really good on anyone who doesn't have mana cooldown or like energy. Basically, someone who's resourceless, cooldown reduction is a really, really nice stat. So, Riven it's really good on, Renekton it's really good on, Aatrox is, and uh, Rengar as well. Aatrox is another example of someone it's really good on. They're just, it's, you just don't have, you're not limited by any resource, you're only limited by your cooldowns. Oh my goodness, I missed him. I missed him. Holy shit. Okay, I'm pretty strong right now. Yeah, this is the thing. Like, I, I was saying our team is quite snowbally. Our team is very snowbally. Like, we're snowballing really hard. Someone said in, in Champ Select, they were like, oh my goodness, uh, full AD team, GG. Like, they were, they were complaining about the fact that our team is all AD. And I was just like, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter, like, how the game... We have a very snowbally team. It doesn't really matter about your team comp anyway. You know, in solo queue, it really doesn't matter what your team comp is. It's more about how you play and how the game goes on, stuff like that. So, team comp is not that big a deal. So, having 4 AD, it doesn't mean anything. Like I say, two people who have Blast Whispers as part of their core builds anyway. Someone who can build a Black Cleaver really easily. It's not that big a deal. I need to be. I need to actually be careful now because I, if I die, I will actually die. So I'm just gonna heal up a bit now off these golems. This guy is like the master of sustain, so that's why I like to buy a Blade of the Ring King. Just very deceptively tanky when you're playing Aatrox. Like not only do you have a revive, you have this insane uh, life steal or like regen. It's Really, it's just he, this guy is so he, he's broken as hell. Like this guy, I mean, I really, I think Riot has done a good job releasing interesting champions, but the past few releases have just been pretty stupid, in my opinion. Like I, I just think, I just think some of the champions that have been released, ha they're conceptually like broken. 
You know, like Aatrox is just broken because of his sustain, his revive passive, the fact that he heals for double when he's on less than half health. That it's really not fun to play versus him because he can split push for days, and it's really hard to, to take. Oh shit! I could be fucked here. Okay, they're missing everything on me. That helps. Oh shit! They've actually got us on this. I don't think it's the wrong realizes that I'm not dead. Either that or Talon's gonna die. Okay, Talon's dead. No, he's not. They will greet you as heroes. Holy shit, he's not dead. This Riven's gonna get him. Go on, Riv oh, GG. GG, well played. Okay, so there's my Aatrox jungle video for you guys. That was a bit of a stomp. I'm sorry if that wasn't too interesting. Um, but hopefully it gave a bit of insight into playing Aatrox. So thank you for watching this video, guys. Uh, if you liked it, feel free to, to give it a like in the video itself. And you can also subscribe to me if this is the first video of mine that you're watching. It wasn't the best commentary, I'll have to admit. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed it nonetheless. You can follow me on my Facebook as well and on my Twitter and uh, my Twitch. Uh, just so you, uh, if you want to see me streaming, I want to be streaming a bit more in the future. So if you want to go ahead and do that, feel free to do so. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Appreciate it and I will see you in my next video.